Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Malone filling in for Tim Cash. This is the IMDB show and my guest today is Maura Tierney. Welcome. Oh, oh. applause. You get the applause. I love it. Uh, thank so, you. Thanks for being here. So we're up to season five of The Affair. It's the final season. How does it feel now it's all coming to an end? My, my overall feeling is that five years was, I think we did everything we could. Um, and it actually was six years. Mm. Like, it took that much time to shoot it, so that's a long time. I mean, well, when you put it like that. Well, I love the way the show is told from, you know, multiple points of view. Mm -hmm. What has that been like for you as an actor? Super fun. I mean, I think, I, I think we counted, I've done six iterations of Helen, six <laughs> really? different POVs of Helen. I mean, it's like pathological. And Whitney's was my favorite one. Yeah. Because we just made her off the rails, like, unhinged and like <laughs> full-blown alcoholic. Hey mom, it's 10 a.m. And Helen and Noah, played by Dominic West, have probably the most complicated relationship on television. Yeah. And again, you know, they see themselves very different to how they see each other. Helen, why are you doing this? Doing what? How do you navigate that with Dominic? Do you work closely together off camera? Um, both Dominic and I, you know, you come in early for hair and makeup and you're in the chair for an hour. Both of us do a lot of work in the chair. So we both come to the scene fairly loose. So we don't work really too hard off camera, but we work the same way. So when we get there, we're, we're sort of in the same place. You should have told me. Why would I have told you? Because we're friends? <laughs> no, we're not. You must get a lot of fans coming up to you because Helen, I mean, she's been through so much yeah. over the past, you know, four and a half seasons. Yeah. I do find that it's generally like women my own age, which is really nice to hear and uh, just have people say nice things because it makes me feel like I'm doing my job. But your question just reminded me, I did an interview a week or two ago and the interviewer asked me, did I learn anything about marriage from doing the show? Yeah. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you would learn how, what to do wrong. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> First of all, it wasn't just about one marriage, it was about two marriages, and then it was about four marriages, and then it was about, mm -hmm. it was, so. She was married to you, and then she cheated with you, and then she left you for you, and then she cheated on you with you. So, well, you're no stranger to beloved TV shows, mm -hmm. you know, news radio, cult favorite. It's actually kind of sweet. How sweet? Not that sweet. <laughs> And I was reading that you said you'd like to do more comedy on yes. screen. I have been doing drama for like the past 14 years. Mm -hmm. I've been on mostly television. Um, I've done some films in there that were comedies. Well, I can't remember when I've had more fun, but if you'll excuse me, I have a class. I think by and large on the work I, is, has been very dramatic roles. ER was a really serious also had its light moments. Unless your patient has situs inversus, her heart should be on the left. Well, you mentioned ER. Okay. I mean, when you think back to that time, what sticks out to you the most? I made some great friends on that show. Lockhart comes up big. But Sally Field, when she came in to play my character's mother. Look at you, you're still so pretty. She was so outstanding. And it sort of created the character of Abby because once you saw Sally and what, what this woman had to deal with as that, as her mother, like everything else fell into place. Like how complicated she was emotionally and why she was so withholding and why it was so tough for her to love or be loved. Like Sally just created that. How long has she been bipolar? Since I was a kid. What was it like watching her in action? It was great because she's she's taught me that it was okay to take myself seriously as an actress yeah because she does she take you know she gives herself permission to take herself seriously and i didn't have that much confidence at that point even though i had already been working for many years and she just did the work she needed to do to get where she needed to go yeah and that was invaluable to me. I'm not going anywhere, Abby. I'm staying here. We've got a film coming out in November, The Report, mm -hmm. which I was lucky enough to see at the Sundance did, did Film Festival. It? It's good, so right? good. Evidently, the CIA destroyed tapes of interrogations of Al Qaeda detainees. I want to find out what was on the tapes and why they were destroyed. Can you tell us a bit more about the film for people who haven't seen it and your character? Adam Driver plays an actual person, Dan, who created a report on the CIA when they began secretively 
taking people to black sites outside of the United States and torturing them. Mm -hmm. And I play this woman that oversees one of those sites and I'm a bad guy. Mm. I never get to play a bad guy. Mm. So that was challenging. And it was challenging to play that part because you know, she oversees a lot of horrific stuff. Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. <laughs> <laughs>